In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite passing concepts out of the far tight slot formation in Madden 23. This is a formation that I kind of got my start in Madden with, been doing kind of a little mini scheme out of here on the channel. And there's actually a lot of really cool things that you can do with this formation. Now, I'm going to show you a concept today that has kind of become popular in Madden uh, 23. It's really, I think, one of the hallmark concepts of Madden 23. To do this, we're going to be utilizing the play flats. And again, if you want to uh, join, or I'm sorry, if you want to uh, get this playbook, it's out of the West Coast playbook. Okay. So the play is flats. Now, generally speaking, we want to have our twins or our little two receiver side to the short side of the field. Okay. That's generally speaking how we want to run it. So if we're on the right hash for whatever reason, we can just simply flip the play and, um, you know, and it will work just fine. Okay. But what we're going to introduce you to, to, to you today is a motion over that is really cool out of this formation. It's kind of unique. So what you'll see here is if I motion this receiver across the formation, he's going to go all the way to the outside of the formation. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could kind of snap throw. Um, I actually think not too bad of a setup would be something like this. And uh, kind of using this motion over here, you'll see it kind of creates that slant post with that seam wheel. And then you also have, um, you know, the, the slant on the backside. So some cool stuff you can do with far tight slot. I think the possibilities are really endless um, in terms of what you can do from motion over. But the other thing that's really interesting is if I motion this guy to the right side, you're going to see that he is going to go into a different position. He's actually going to basically be like a, almost like a tight doubles uh, style of alignment. So then what we're going to do with this is we're going to kind of create a makeshift double corner concept. And so the way you're going to do this is you have a big corner that's going to clear out zones, which in this case is going to be this deep corner route to Randy Moss. And then we're going to have our tight end running a short corner route. And then last but not least, on the back end of this, we can kind of do something like this, which this is one of my favorite little setups, the little trail concept out of the backfield uh, alongside with this little drag. And so what you'll see is if they run man coverage, one of these corners is going to be pretty effective at being able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the big, the real cool piece of this is what this can do if they're going to run zone. So like an example, of a, of a zone that's probably the hardest zone to, to beat uh, with this formation is going to be that cover four drop baseline press and trying to flood to the right side of the screen. Well, what you're going to see here is because that corner, the tight end corner is so, so much shorter than the deep post corner route, you have a couple of different things that you can do. So one of the things that you can do, especially if they're baseline and pressing and they're like walking their safeties down, this is pretty common in dollar. Um, one of the things that you can do with this is this corner route to Randy Moss is a potential one, like big play uh, if you have it. So you see here, we'll make this read free form up just like that. And you see how he can kind of get into this unique little space that is created. And the really it's because of, again, how sharp um, the, the tight end corner route really does cut. And so what this does is it gives us a window where we can actually maybe potentially bomb uh, cover four. And I'll show it to you again here. So you see how he kind of gets that separation. I'm gonna free form it up. And as you can see, it gets over a deep outside quarter. Now, the other thing that you can do with this, and it's a little bit more of a safe option, is you can just throw your tight end corner out. Um, your tight end corner out will pretty much always be available to you against cover four or cover three because he's running to the wide side of the field, and, and you just want to basically just ag it away from the KO really effective for beating cover four. It's even gonna be better against cover three, which we'll show you cover three here real quick. Um, so if it's an outside third over there, then it should be even better because what's gonna happen is that outside third is the only player responsible for this deep corner route. So you'll see here that outside third really takes that corner and then I can throw this uh, and basically again, you're just agging back to the ball. Now the other thing that I think is really cool about this setup is is if they're in a cover three, even if they're playing like standard, um, like even if they're playing like standard uh, cloud flat or roll coverage, something like this, which is probably the best way that they can play zone coverage to the wide side of the field in this year's game. One of the benefits of having this tight end corner route and having it run to the wide side of the field is what you're gonna see here is that corner route will get over the cloud and you can still catch it on the sideline just like that. 
So the benefit is the only way to defend that tight end corner route is they have to get into um, a deep coverage sequence where they're dropping these flats, uh, where, they're, where they're basically zone drops, right? So um, what makes this so neat is you're gonna see here that now I've got a 30 yard cloud out of a cover two, okay? So I've got a 30 yard cloud out of a cover two, and then I've got, again, like I said, standard, you know, Mabel concept, and now they're gonna be rolling this direction. The problem with them rolling this direction is we can flood the left side of the screen pretty much all day. We can throw in the middle of the field all day long. But the other thing that we can do is we can really take advantage of free form where we're gonna free form this up and over and try to get that that um, that guy open on that deep corner. So if they're starting, if you're starting to notice that they're going to this cloud coverage, what I would recommend doing is really this, um, which is to now we're going to take the tight end, we're going to put him on a streak, so he's going to clear out the deep half, and then everything else is pretty much going to stay the same. So everything else is pretty much the same, um, but now we have a streak that's going to clear out the deep half, and now we're going to burn that deep double Mabel coverage over the top for a big play. So this is really kind of a big play option, but it's also in a way like it's a very powerful play. I mean, you can even run it like this as well. And this is going to make it a little bit better against man coverage. One of the cool pieces about this running back route is that wheel route can get over the top of man, as you just saw. And then you also have your corner route. So they're going to have to have some help um, over there to be able to defend all this. And this really does also give us, again, kind of a different way to still attack. Uh, and that was a terrible freeform. But this kind of gives us another way to be able to attack. Now, um, another thing you can do is you can, if you have Hot Route Master, you can even just put a standard slot apprentice corner on him. And what you'll see is they'll run, and there'll be a little bit more consistency um, in terms of man beating. But honestly, I think utilizing this deep corner route or this post and turning it into a deep corner route combined with the fact that we have a trail technique on the backside and a tight end corner route one of these routes is going to get open for you in man and normally it's going to be the tight end route guys i want to thank you for watching the video if you want to join the patreon get better at madden immediately you'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks by becoming a member today it's only ten dollars to sign up so head down to the description and go check out the patreon page down below